Oh, what a day. Sun shining. Yeah, it's been a mad day. Let me not even sit here and lie. Um, but I'm here today to talk about training, to be quite frank. That shit's none of your business. <laughs> anyway. I've hurt my back slightly. And I think it's just because I've been doing muscle-ups pretty much every bench day. Um, and I've been having to use my back a lot during my bench because I can't leg drive. Um, I haven't been switching my glutes on either because I found that when I switch my glutes on, if I start to struggle, my quad automatically switches on and engages some leg drive and that hurts my knee. So my back has been getting taxed recently, even though I've been doing a lot of pressing, right? Um, it's probably the pull-ups, the muscle-ups in combination with the much higher volume of bicep curls and bicep workouts so on and so forth so it's made me think that this weekend really i need to get creative and i need to figure out some things to do and have more of have a more potent leg sessions so to be so to speak um i'm currently at a place i haven't been recording these but i'm currently at a place where i'm experiencing a lot less discomfort now doing the knees over toes zero program which is literally just if you've been watching me do the the knees over toes stuff recently it's very similar um without the upper body stuff and just body weight like zero weight right um and i feel like that's helped me a lot from a recovery perspective like my knee is definitely getting better where are we we are on friday now so we're officially seven days after the incident and it's fair to say it's definitely getting better so based off the doc's advice i don't actually need to go and get scans or anything like that and i'm not going to bother to be honest because no matter what the scans come back as i know what i'm going to do i'm going to be rehabbing it right um so I, it's time to get a little bit more creative and when i say creative i guess more than anything it's just time to push some boundaries because there's certain movements like the hip flexor movements that i know i'll be able to do i've just shied away from them due to my knee right um so this weekend i'm gonna spend it pushing boundaries on knee stuff i'm not loading this knee yet there's no way on god's green earth i'm loading this knee yet however i think it is time to trust it enough to do things that don't directly impact it so i'm looking forward to that and i'm looking forward to seeing how that goes and playing with a few bits and pieces that i want to play with because i do miss training my legs i won't sit here and lie i was really really enjoying the progress that i was making um so yeah i'm feeling good about it i'll be honest i'm getting a lot more comfortable in my movements my everyday movements it's still very much a case of you sit around too long it seizes up and gets really stiff but thankfully I live quite an active life so I, it doesn't hinder me too often just first thing in the morning before I get at it so to speak um, it's a bit stiff but other than that we're all good man so yeah a week has officially gone by if I'm not mistaken and I'm very, very happy that I can say that, yeah, it's definitely making progress. Um, definitely making progress. So, as always, we move. We move and, yes, the weekend. The weekend is going to be interesting. I look forward to it. I look forward to getting the shorts back on and, and having some fun. Having some fun. Um, but, yeah, if you made it this far, thank you very, very much. And I shall see you tomorrow.